Hey there, this is Dr. Isaac coming at you from the Pain Free Maverick. As always, bringing you Maverick solutions to help you eliminate your pain from home. And today in this video, I wanna talk to you about mid-back pain and how a physical therapist can help you eliminate mid-back pain at home by yourself despite all the things you may have tried, like maybe massaging it, stretching it, self-adjusting it, I'm gonna tell you the secret number one mobility stretch that will help you eliminate your back pain right now. Now, before I tell you how we're going to do this together, the first thing I want you to know is that middle back pain, which is right over here, here's the rib cage. You can see that in the front, the anatomy. I'm gonna to explain to you exactly where it comes from. Middle back pain is generally created by the muscles that line up right across the mid back. You may feel some achiness, like a numb, achy, tension kind of feeling in here. Um, it feels like a, like, a, like a toothache kind of symptom, but just doesn't wanna go away. It's hard to turn left and right, side to side. It's uh, uncomfortable to find the position to sit properly. If you're sitting on a couch, you kinda wanna lean away or towards that side. If it's lasting for longer than two weeks, it can get pretty chronic and it's very hard to eliminate. No, no matter what stretches or exercises you're doing. And you know the reason why? The reason is, is because these nerves over here, these nerve endings, I'm gonna show you these over here. These are the nerve endings of the middle back and all the nerves that come out of the middle back. Okay, these are called peripheral nerves. It doesn't really matter, but those nerve endings sit between the bone and the muscle. So you have the joints of the ribs over here and the bones of the, of the back called the vertebrae. It doesn't really matter, but those nerves can get trapped right between those muscles, those little muscles of the back. Okay, and those little muscles of the back can compress those nerves and squeeze those nerves, especially if you find yourself in a job or a position that requires you to be in one position for a long period of time. Now, so many people are out there sitting for hours and hours and hours, I don't have to tell you this, but that is what causes mid-back or rib pain. Now, I'm gonna show you over here on the model, these are the muscular nerves over here, and those nerves live right underneath those deep muscles of the spine. And after sitting for a long period of time in one position at a computer, slouching down or, or, or looking down in one position and turning your head, you may not realize you're doing this, you're probably creating a strain on those nerve endings right over here and pulling on the fascia. Now the fascia is that thin tissue, it's like cellophane, and that attaches around all the nerve endings. And when your head is down, it pulls on that tissue and snags on the fascia, which causes compression or pressure, and that sends a signal up to the brain and sends the pain back down to the muscles. Now the muscles literally turn off because the brain wants to protect you. And then what happens is you end up having this throbbing, aching pain that just feels like you need to get it popped. And I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Now, what happens is if you don't mobilize the, the muscles and the tissues before you start to do your stretching, you will not get a result because I call this neurocorrective stretching. It's my approach. Neuro means nerve to correct and stretch. The nerves have to slide and glide between those bones like pieces of floss have to slide and glide between your teeth. Did you ever floss your teeth and then the floss gets stuck between your gums and then you have to kind of pull on it to get the dirt out? It's the same thing. Nerves can get trapped in there and an inflammation builds up around the joint and it's a neurostructure, neurostructural uh, compression. So neurostructural uh, compression means that the nerve is just getting pinched in there and then has to be released. Now, there's a special direction you have to do it in with a certain amount of force. So let me show you how that's done, okay? So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna basically demonstrate to you a couple of ways that we can do that. Now, I have a, a great tool over here that, um, this, uh, this, this uh, neuromuscular stimulator here. And I think these tools are great. I'll, you see them all over the internet. And, but what I like about this is that this can get down into the nerve tissue better than any massage. It's very hard to release this muscle and nerve um, ending uh, with just traditional massage because it's so deep and close to the bone. You need a high frequency vibration tool. So basically I'm gonna show you how this works. 
and this vibrates very, very strongly. And, and it's not about the uh, pressure as much as it is about the vibration frequency, how fast it's moving. And you can see it's like shaking my whole hand, okay? Now, basically what I would do is I would run that right up over here in, in the area where the tissues are, are trapped and the nerves are trapped. You can actually see over here where the nerves are, okay? So basically we're, we're running it right up and down by the spinal joints, okay? I'll show you on the model, okay? So basically, right over here, we would do right over in this area, right there, by the ribs, okay, and those nerves are. Now, we would do that for a little bit to release the tissue. Now, if you don't have one of those, that's okay. You can use a lacrosse ball and just kind of uh, roll on it and, and put it behind your back and just kind of roll, lay back and just roll back and forth on it vigorously. It's not gonna do the same thing, but it'll get the job done to kind of free things up. Now, you start with that mobility work, to try to decompress where the nerve is not moving next to the bone. Now, after you do that one, I'm gonna show you another stretch that will help you tremendously for that nerve, okay? So this next neurocorrective stretch is very easy to do. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold your hands like so, bring them close to your chest like I am. And what you're gonna do is basically towards the side where it hurts you, you're going to spin your body. I'm gonna show you from the side, spin your body, into the direction of the pain. Now, if you watch the video, you can actually see the motion and how fast it has to be done. It's a whipping motion. Get into a really good upright posture and maintain it throughout the whole exercise. That's very important. Take your hands and grip them towards your chest and begin to whip your body towards the same side of pain in a twisting fashion. Imagine your body is one unit with your hands stuck to your body as tight as possible Whip your elbow all the way back behind you to the end of the range of motion as far as you can go with every rotation. Imagine something behind you like you're trying to hit it with your elbow with each turn. It's normal to feel pain in the middle of your back with this exercise. Give me some comments and maybe click the subscribe button below and the bell so that when I put out another video, uh, you'll know, okay? Thanks a lot, and I'll see you on the next video.